Hello everyone, good evening. Roberto and Leticia, welcome. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening, good. teacher. Good. How about you? Very good, teacher. Today I'm ready for last class. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's ready. Yay. Leticia, how about you? Are you feeling better today? Más o menos. <laughs> okay, okay. Hello, Andres. Good evening. Oh, I guess you're driving. Since you're listening. Hello, lady. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How's the weather in Morazan, lady? <clears throat> um, mucho, mucho viento. Right? <laughs> Sí, demasiado viento, un frío que me ha afectado la garganta. Oh. Mm -hmm. I've heard many people are, are, are sick because of the weather. <laughs> sí, teacher. Mm -hmm. I, I just <clears throat> called my family in Ilovasco. They live in Ilovasco and they were telling me that me, most of them are sick. Oh, mm -hmm. with the flu or something like that. <clears throat> Aquí se ha estado bien potente el viento. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In San Salvador too. Uh, well, I was out and about in San Salvador today and it was really windy as well mm, so nuestra cena bueno almuerzo navideño va a ser por un volcán de San Salvador en el volcán de San Salvador ajá ah me imagino que así va a estar super super cool yes is... <coughs> les sugiero un buen abrigo ay yes ok yes. <laughs> porque mm -hmm. cuando El boss nos llevó el jefe a nosotros porque dijo hay que evitar que esté muy lleno, lo, me, nos fuimos el dos. Uh -huh. Y sí, estaba helado y no estaba haciendo viento. Y uh -huh. ahora que está así. Uh -huh. Exactly. You need a really nice sweater, really good sweater or jacket. Uh -huh. Thank you for su suggestion. <laughs> and also, uh, I would say also a scarf if you uh -huh. are if you are sick. When is it? When is the dinner? Um, Wednesday. <clears throat> ah, okay. Yeah, probably. Is the, 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 uh, es el almuerzo. Va a ser almuerzo. La, ah, it's not dinner, it's lunch. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. En la noche sí nos vamos a ir a quedar a la playa que aún no sabemos dónde. Wow. Porque yeah. fíjese que nos estaban pidiendo como el 50% de... No, el 100%, perdón, uh -huh. de depósito y no nos daban como comprobante de nada. Nosotros ahí como, ¿cómo? Uh -huh. <ríe> exactly. Uh -huh. Así que mejor no. Ok. But that would be a really good, a really good way to, to wrap up the, the year. Launch yeah. the volcano with cool uh -huh. weather and then at the beach. Yes. <coughs> por el Tunco queremos ir porque pues nosotros frecuentamos más la de acá de San Miguel ajá, ah ok uh -huh. y la mayoría de nuestros compañeros son como de San Salvador así que queremos ir ahí así que primero Dios que todo que va a estar mejor para esa fecha porque ahora Juan me está molestando <risa> Lady se queda Sí, si no, take, si a, no, si no, uh, no take a good tea, take lots of water. Water is good for, for like, you know, the um getting out everything. Like 
the the play mm -hmm. <laughs> drink lots of water lots of tea honey chamomile um what else lemon ginger also ginger is really good so yeah Okay, well, let's see who else is here. We have Mauricio. Hello, Israel. Welcome. Gabriela. Hello, hello. Julio is a listener. I see. Gilberto. Good evening, teacher. Why are you so quiet today? Uh, today, I feel uh cool <laughs> yeah i see you're wearing a sweater mm -hmm. yes okay yeah and you are always out of your house i see so it's even cooler yeah <laughs> right? mm -hmm. okay well everybody everybody this is our last class so let's get started um Okay, let's check attendance before anything else. Let me see here. I thought I had it open, but I didn't open it. So I'm gonna get into the file here. Here we are. Okay, well, let's see. We have um, Danny Anthony, Siguenza Ventura, not here right now. Gilberto Benito, Santa Maria Rios. Present teacher. Eh, Jose Andres Martinez Perez. I think he said he's driving. He's a listener right now, right? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Andres. Eh, Jose Israel Martinez Rodriguez. Present teacher. Great. Eh, Julio Aristides Paz Rivas. I think I saw Julio. Yes, he's a listener. Um eh, Lady Joana Hernández Ventura, present. Eh, Luis Rodrigo Morales Ortiz. Luis Rodrigo around here. No, not today. Okay. Eh, María Leticia Relegeño González. Present teacher. Mauricio de Jesús Buruca Velázquez. Yes, present teacher. Great. Eh, Rebeca María Cardona. Not here yet. Eh, Rolando Danilo. I'm sorry, I'm skipping Roberto. Roberto Carlos Cames Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you. Rolando Danilo Sánchez. I see sure. you there. Rolando. Hello. Okay, Sofía Karina Crespo Martínez, Sofía, Sofía, not here right now, and Yesenia Gabriela Aguilar Granadín. Present teacher. Great. Okay, very good. Well, um, we're going to start today, you know, since we, we have been talking about uh, branding and loyalty and all that. And um, I wanted to refer you to some, well, these brands, we have also discussed some of them in different activities as examples and everything. So um, we're going to start by watching this video about how Apple and Nike have branded your brain, well, our brain. <laughs> Okay, so let's get to know uh, how they have done it, right? And probably some of you already have an idea because I know some of you have studied um, digital marketing. In some cases, I've 
uh, you have shared that you well have some knowledge about it. Uh, so as we are watching the video, I would like you to, well, I'm going to write it in the chat just so uh, we know what we're going to be checking, okay? So let's see, what is the chat here? Okay, so I'm going to type some, some questions here. First of all, uh, what is something you didn't know or I didn't know? Like it's your, I mean, you're going to answer this question. So what is something I didn't know about um, this brand, about how these brands works okay that is the first question what is something i didn't know about how these brands work and secondly how do i feel about it, the way these brands work on my brain as a consumer Okay, so here we have these two questions. Uh, let's think about them as we watch the video. And uh, when we finish, we're going to have some, some time for you to share. Okay, so let me share the screen. Oops, oops. Wait, wait, wait. I think I'm not sharing the right thing here. Okay, here we go. Oak is just soda. Tylenol, just acetaminophen. And Levi's are just jeans. Yet consumers go out of their way to select these specific brands over others. An economist would say, how is this possible that a rational consumer would be willing to pay more for exactly the same thing? We love to think about ourselves as rational. That's not how it works. A very famous study done by colleagues at Duke University had flashed either the Apple logo for the IBM logo to two randomized groups of participants. The study found that after being subliminally exposed to the Apple logo, compared to when you've been exposed to the IBM logo, participants performed better on creative tasks. And the argument is that Apple has been telling you this story over and over again, that Apple is the brand for hip, cool, fun, creative people. This is the true power of brands. They can influence our behavior in ways that extend way beyond the point of sale. So to what degree can the influence of brands wreak havoc on our ability to make rational spending decisions? This is your brain on money. This is Americus Reed. He studies identity and marketing at the University of Pennsylvania. When I make choices about different brands, I'm choosing to create and identity. When I put that shirt on, when I put those shoes on, those jeans, that hat, someone is going to form an impression about what I'm about. So if I'm choosing Nike over Under Armour, I'm choosing a kind of different way to express affiliation with sport. The Nike thing is about performance. The Under Armour thing is about the underdog. I have to choose which of these different conceptual pathways is most consistent with where I am in my life. And once a consumer makes that choice, their relationship with a brand can deepen to the point where they identify with the brand like family. And once you identify with a brand, it can shape the way you behave. And it's really interesting because they will also, if someone talks bad about that product, brand, or service, they will be the first to go out and defend. Why? Because an attack on the brand is an attack on themselves. Michael Platt is a professor of neuroscience, marketing, and psychology whose research demonstrates how our perception of brands influences our decisions. 
there's an idea in marketing, which is that we relate to brands in the same way we relate to people. It's like, I love this brand or I hate this brand. Of course, what people say right, can often be different from what's really going on in their heads. So we thought, well, why don't we just ask the brain directly? Michael and his team observed the brains of iPhone users and Samsung Galaxy users with an MRI machine while they heard good, bad, and neutral news about Apple and Samsung. Apple customers showed a brain empathy response toward Apple that was exactly what you'd see in the way you would respond to somebody in your own family. Strangely, Samsung users didn't have any positive or negative responses when good or bad news was released about their brand. The only evidence that Samsung users showed was reverse empathy for Apple news, meaning if the Apple headline was negative, their brain reflected a positive response. You know, it really shows us that Apple has completely defined the market here. Samsung customers, it seems from their brain data, are only buying Samsung because they hate Apple. The kicker? The Samsung users didn't report feeling the results their MRIs showed. What was happening in their brains and what they reported feeling towards Apple and Samsung were totally different. Most people just don't realize that they are subconsciously choosing brands because those brands have some kind of self-expressive value. You can see there's a lot of power here in terms of shaping uh, consumers' decisions. As we learn more and more about that, we have to think much more deeply about the ethical, legal, and societal implications of doing that. So as consumers, what can we do to make informed choices? Well, the best thing we can do is be aware of the influence that brands hold. I think it's important to always pause and think a little bit about, okay, why am I buying this product? And like it or not, brands aren't going anywhere. I've heard lots of people push back and say that I'm not into brands. I take a very different view. They're not doing anything any different than what someone who affiliates with a brand is doing. They have a brand. It's just an anti-brand brand. When I think about what is it that I've learned about identity over time, I think a lot of it has to do with the fundamental need that we as humans have to have support systems. Perhaps it was the church, it was the community, it was these other institutions that existed. Now brands have stepped in as pillars of our identity. So I'm very much motivated to see that in that positive light. Okay, everybody. So now it's time to share, okay? And the first question was, what is something I didn't know about how these brands work in general? So I'm going to take volunteers for this first question. Uh, but if we don't have volunteers, we will choose someone. So what is something you didn't know about how these brands work in general? Or if there is nothing new, well, it's okay to say it too. Okay, so I guess there is nothing new. Now, the other question. How do I feel about the way these brands work? on my brain as a as a cost consumer sorry consumer how do you feel teacher <clears throat> yes mm, lady? i feel taken into account because mm -hmm. they cover my emotions expectations and interest regarding what I like to do and what I occupy, device or objects. Oh, okay. So you, you feel taken into, into account mm -hmm. that, your needs, that your needs are met by the brand. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. <clears throat> okay, who else wants to answer this question? How do I feel about the way these brands work on my brain as a consumer? Mm -hmm. Well, um, it's 8.20 right now and I was instructed that we would need to complete our survey at 8.20. So I'm going to make a parenthesis here with this question, but I'm going to come back to it later on, okay? Um, so for right now, it's time to fill out our survey. Um, well, the survey link was shared to your email and to your, well, to the WhatsApp group as well, right? So uh, let's make that parenthesis now uh, in order to fill out the survey, okay? And uh, I'm going to start, well, actually we're gonna do this. Um, I'm going to uh, play the video that we were sh that, that we have and uh, I'm going to be pausing the video so you can uh, do it step by step, okay? So everybody right now, please get your cell phone ready or your, I mean, go to your email so you can access the link. See. Eh, Flor, buenas noches. Sí, eh, justamente es lo que estoy explicando ahorita. Eh, que vamos a ir al enlace y eh, vamos a iniciar. Okay. So let me just get ready here with the link. Eh, ok, voy a cambiar esta parte a español porque, pues para que se comprenda al 100% y también porque Flor nos está acompañando eh, y pues ella nos va a estar ayudando a aclarar cualquier duda que, que tengamos, ¿verdad? Entonces, muchas gracias Flor de antemano y eh, ahora voy a proyectar el enlace, el video, permítanme. Eh, en primer lugar, levanten la mano, por favor, si ya tenemos ahí el enlace listo. Can you please raise your hand? Thank you, Lady, Roberto, Gilberto. Muy bien. Excelente. Ok, eh, es importante, bueno, no sé si para todos, eh, no sé si sea la primera o la segunda o la tercera vez que llenamos la encuesta, pero eh, si no es así, si es la primera vez, pues eh, es importante que llenemos los datos tal cual vayamos viendo en el video porque eh, pues este es como un, digámoslo así, un documento oficial para Insaport de parte suya. Es muy, muy importante. Por lo tanto, eh, pues necesitamos dedicarle el tiempo requerido y eh, la atención de vida, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a, a ir viendo el video y yo voy a ir pausando eh, para que vayamos haciéndolo paso a paso. 
y si alguien tiene algún problema técnico en ese momento, eh, pues con gusto lo, lo revisamos, ¿verdad? Eh, como mencionaba, pues nos acompaña Flor Sánchez de eh, soporte técnico para poder eh, revisar esa parte. Así que eh, doy inicio al video. Por favor, todos, si ya lo tienen abierto el enlace, vamos ahorita. Como ingreso corporativo, vamos a apoyarte para poder desarrollar tu secuestro de satisfacción de manera correcta. Vas a recibir a tu correo electrónico personal la información con los datos correspondientes del curso. Vamos a ingresar y vamos a seleccionar el enlace para poder desarrollar encuesta de satisfacción. Vamos a regresar al correo que hemos recibido y vamos a colocar el número de la orden de inicio siempre proporcionada por nosotros. La vamos a copiar. Muy bien, entonces el primer paso es ingresar a nuestro correo o desde el mensaje enviado a WhatsApp y dar clic en el enlace de la encuesta, ¿verdad? Y luego copiamos el número de orden de inicio, ¿verdad? Que de igual manera está ahí en la información recibida. No sé si a todos ubican el, orde, el número de orden de inicio. Si alguien no lo ubica, me dice, por favor. Listo, teacher. Muy bien. ¿Estamos bien todos con la parte del, or del orden de inicio? Yes, teacher, listo. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Muy bien. Bueno, continuamos entonces. Tal cual es el correo electrónico y la vamos a colocar en el punto número uno. En el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre completo, que es de cada uno de ustedes. Lo vamos a copiar de igual manera en la información que hemos compartido. Ok, pausamos aquí de igual manera para colocar nuestro nombre según está registrado en Insaport. Ok, pasamos a la siguiente. Y lo vamos a colocar en el nombre común. Y ante ello, vamos a colocar el correo electrónico personal que ustedes han proporcionado a inglés corporativo. Y okay, colocamos el correo personal. Importante es el mismo que hemos compartido con inglés corporativo. Continuamos. De igual manera, vamos a colocar así el número de contacto que ustedes han proporcionado. Lo vamos a copiar. De igual manera también, ¿verdad? Si tenemos otro número que usamos, no sé, el de la empresa o algo así, pues sería siempre el Cuidado de usar el que está ahí registrado. Y así lo vamos a colocar en el número 6. Posteriormente colocamos el sexo. En el punto número 6 vamos a desplazar la flechita. Vamos a buscar el departamento de residencia donde ustedes actualmente viven. Muy bien, pasamos entonces a la parte de residencia. Luego vemos ahí municipio. De igual manera, vamos a colocar el municipio en el cual ustedes están residiendo. En el punto número 8, vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa. Cuidado en este punto, ya que vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa tal cual razón social. 
que nosotros la tenemos registrada. De igual manera, les hemos compartido el nombre correcto para que ustedes puedan buscar. Eh, ¿Todos tenemos esta información a la mano? ¿La razón social de su empresa? Sí, teacher. Excelente. Sí, este, este puntito es, es muy, muy clave, ¿verdad? Entonces, si todos la tienen a la mano ahí, estamos bien. Teacher, ¿me podría compartir el mío, por favor? Sí, con gusto, Roberto, en un momento. Ok, gracias. Voy a dejar de compartir pantalla para ingresar aquí donde tenemos esa información. Me regala el mío también, teacher, por favor. Leticia. Sí. Ok, permítame. Vamos a ver, Carlos, Roberto Carlos. Eh, se lo voy a enviar aquí eh, a, su, a un mensajito privado, Roberto, y también Leticia. No sé si hay alguien más que lo necesita. Ok. Ok, te chulo. ¿Hay alguien más? Ok, ahora Leticia, en un momento. Teacher, le escribí para verificar si así es el mío. No ok. Ya lo reviso, permítanme. Por favor. Y... Ok, ahorita vamos a ver, Lady, sí, así tal cual. Uh -huh. Muchas gracias. <coughs> Sofía, ¿did you have a question? ¿O se le quedó la manito levantada? No, any question, teacher. Thanks. Okay, great. Bueno, no sé si ya los demás estamos listos con esa parte del, de la empresa. ¿Sí? Yes, teacher. Great. Okay, let's continue. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Let me change the... Don't have the, the, this part. Excuse me? I don't have the, the this uh, information. The, ah, the... Gabriel. Ah, you need it too. Okay, give me a second. The name of your company? Yes, teacher. Okay. Gabriel, let me see here. Okay, there you go. Anybody else? No, todos estamos bien ya. Con respecto al nombre de la empresa. Okay, let's go on. 
let's move on. Okay, here we go. Oops. En el nombre del proveedor, vamos a colocar de acuerdo a nuestro centro de formación, que es Inglés Corporativo Real International. Vamos a Ok, en ese caso pues tenemos la opción de buscarlo eh, ahí en el drop down menu, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí ya van a aparecer y vamos a buscar. Ahorita vamos a ver aquí. Desplazar la fecha y vamos a buscar el nombre de nuestro centro de información. Lo seleccionamos. Ok. Vamos a pausar ahí un momento. Inglés corporativo. El siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre del curso. De igual manera, vamos a colocar tal cual está en información que nosotros hemos proporcionado, tanto por correo electrónico y por WhatsApp. Muy bien, ahí sería pues... Según nuestro módulo, ¿verdad? Intermedio. A copiar el número del curso. Y vamos a colocar. En el punto número 11. Las evaluaciones que ustedes serán, las harán de manera individual y personal según lo que ustedes han vivido en el transcurso del curso. Ok, muy importante esta parte, ¿verdad? Las fechas de inicio, de igual manera, las vamos a poder verificar en la información que se ha En este caso, nos vamos a ir al calendario y debemos tener el cuidado ya que en el calendario podemos retroceder o adelantar las fechas. De igual manera, si están las proporcionadas, vamos a tener que buscar el mes y la fecha indicada en el inicio del módulo. En la fecha de finalización, de igual manera proporcionada por nosotros, vamos a desplazar el calendario y así vamos a seleccionar el día en el cual está finalizando el curso. Sería este día, ¿verdad? 18 de diciembre. En el punto número 14, vamos a colocar una valoración personal que ustedes han recibido de parte del desarrollo del curso. Posteriormente, ustedes pueden seleccionar algunos cursos de otro interés o algún comentario que ustedes tengan respecto al trabajo desarrollado. Vamos a darle clic en el botón azul de enviar. Y posteriormente vamos a recibir un mensaje de la respuesta a su enviado. Cuando ustedes han recibido este mensaje, favor de tomar una captura de pantalla, compartirla al grupo de WhatsApp correspondiente junto con su nombre completo, según nosotros los tenemos registrados. Ok, muy importante. Veo que acá ya compartieron algunos, ¿verdad? Su, su captura de pantalla con su nombre. Así que, bueno, eh, solamente quedamos esperando los mensajitos del resto para dar por concluido este proceso. Ok, tenemos acá a Gilberto, Roberto.
Sofía, José Andrés, Julio. Let's see. Okay, I'm missing Rolando from the people who are here. Rolando and Israel, I think. Rolando and Israel, are you having any issues? No, teacher. Okay. Well. I don't know if Rolando is a listener. I don't see him as a listener. Rolando, are you filling out the survey? Mm -hmm. Give me one moment, teacher. I share the okay. survey. Okay, I'm sorry. I was just checking that you were actively working. <laughs> Yeah. I'm not pushing you. Just checking. Okay, in the meantime, while we wait uh, for the rest of your classmates, uh, we can go back to our discussion. So I'm gonna stop sharing. Okay, so before we made our parentheses, thank you, Rolando, just got it. Uh, we were discussing 
two questions related to the video we watched, right? And let's see, we were discussing, okay, well, first, what is something I didn't know about how these brands work? And the second question, how do I feel about the way these brands work on my brain as a consumer? Because especially uh, the video focuses on studies or the science behind um, all this branding and all this loyalty to specific brands, right? So um, they show some studies and how uh, in terms of behavior, right? There are uh, some elements to consider here. Um, so, uh, well, lady was explaining about herself, right? And uh, her brand, her brand loyalty to Apple <laughs> specifically. <laughs> And um, we know you. We know you're passionate about Apple, <laughs> but um, okay. So how about uh, the rest? Like, um, checking this video and maybe some other videos and articles that we have been discussing or that you have previously watched or read uh, about how marketing functions, right? And how they work out our brain. So how do you feel about that as a consumer? Not as a professional in the marketing or anything, but just as a consumer, what do you think about it? Gilberto, what's your opinion? Uh, can you repeat, teacher? Yes, we are checking this question that I posted in the chat about, okay, we watched the video, right? And uh, now my question is, as a consumer, how do you feel about the way these brands work on your brain as a consumer? Oh, yes, teacher. I feel that the consumer... Uh, and first, I seen happy the consumer the necessary identify con what with with branding. Uh -huh. For example, Sony. Uh, you identify with Sony, right? Nice. Yes. Uh, my uh, my person identifies Sony and, mm -hmm. and the phone. Yeah. And mm -hmm. the shoes. And my identify with Carter Pillar. Okay. Yes. For example. Mm -hmm. uh, and the other brandy. Mm -hmm. And the car, for example. Uh, you're I identify yes it will buy in in this <laughs> moment. <laughs> you see, I already know you. <laughs> I know your brands. Okay. Okay, very good. Thank you, Gilberto. I see Roberto wants to participate. Go ahead, Roberto. Hello, teacher. Hello. Okay, when the first question, uh, what is something I didn't know about how the brands work? Mm -hmm. um, in my opinion, I I didn't know about what the, the different brands like uh, Apple, Samsung, mm -hmm. and in other in other in other brands, but but the second question. Uh, how do you feel about the way this brand work on my brain? Uh, with this question, I don't feel well because um, uh, different companies, they have influenced 
through the different way, for example, um, on TV, ad on TV, in social media, and when they have influence in the people, um, this is no, this this for is no good for me because they have influence in 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 myself uh through through the different different art in my brain and mm -hmm. for that reason uh i don't agree with 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 the four award of this company okay okay very good thank you roberto okay let's see if someone else wants to share their ideas about this question andres go ahead do not teacher that is too cold outside teacher <laughs> <laughs> are you outside no right now no i almost arrived to my house teacher. but it's very cool outside so <laughs> the for me teacher i i see the questions um the first one Eric, what is something i didn't know i didn't know about how this brands work Mm -hmm. In my case, I, I think that I I know some, some the, the different brands or mm -hmm. the different, yeah, the different forms that the brands work. Mm -hmm. And the second, that how do I feel about the way these brands work on my brain as a consumer? Mm -hmm. In my opinion, I can say that everything starts with a necessity. Or okay. ex but in my brain, I, I don't know if <laughs> in another brain is different, but in my brain, it's like a necessity. For example, if I want to, um, say, well, right now in Christmas, if I want a, a, a shoes, I mm -hmm. know that I am going to select or I'm going to choose a, the brand that uh, call me or a brand that likes me. Mm -hmm. For example, Nikes, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, and I know that I, I and I know that I'm going to both again or buy again this kind of brand because mm -hmm. in the past I bought that this kind of brand and mm -hmm. I know that it is good this kind because it dura, dura, durable durability. Yes, yes, because of its durable. durable. So, mm -hmm. so I think that uh, the consumers brand. It's like if you have a good experience about the one brand, mm -hmm. you can choose the same brand again. Okay. So it's all about the, well, you have a necessity and then comes the experience. If it is good, then you keep keep buying. Okay. Great. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Thank you. Well, thank you uh, for sharing your opinions, Lady, Gilberto, and Andres. In Roberto, uh, we're going to change a well, not topic. We're going to continue talking about loyalty, brand loyalty, but there are some other uh, activities that we will be doing. Okay, so um, right now I'm going to share my screen for uh, the last page of our material of our um, of our manual. see here okay and well in this case uh, we're going to be talking about characteristics of effective loyalty programs okay and uh, we start with some questions as usual and well the first one is what are the best customer loyalty programs in the country and what makes these programs successful Okay, and I'm going to add an extra question. I'm gonna write it here in the chat. Um, okay, let's see. Okay, my third question is, what loyalty programs uh, have you experienced? Or have you been part of as a consumer? 
Maybe we can start with that one. Okay, that will be the first one. What loyalty programs have you been part of as a consumer? Okay. Um, and I specify as a consumer because I know some of you work in the marketing area or and and well as a as a, a the maker of the strategy, right? Uh, it's one experience. And the consumer experience is a different one. It's the other side of the story, basically, or the other side of the coin, as they say. So that's why I specify as a consumer, what loyalty programs have you been part of? Okay, and for this one, for this discussion, I will ask you to do it in pairs, okay? So let me um, get ready here. Okay, very good. So here we go. So again, the task right now for you to discuss with your classmate is to to these two questions that we have in the in the manual. And the first question will be the one that you see in the chat. Okay. So I'm going to share them in the WhatsApp group just in case someone doesn't have them. Uh, I mean, doesn't have access to the um, to the manual right now. Okay, so let me, okay, I'm gonna stop sharing and make a screenshot. Okay, well, I don't know if Gabriela and Israel are participating since I see you here. Hello, Andres, you're alone. Yes, teacher, I'm alone. <laughs> okay, uh, I don't know if your classmates, oh, Gabriela is coming in. Here, here she is. <laughs> Okay, okay, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Hey, I have a... Triste, Andrés, porque estaba solito. No. <laughs> okay, so let's start. I'm going to check with your presence. Okay.
usted está en la computadora. Hello. Hello. Teacher, ¿en qué hoja está eso? It's the last one. Pero ya se los compartí en el chat también. Mm. En el, revisen el chat de WhatsApp, ahí se los compartí. Vamos a contestar, teacher, uh, esas preguntas. Yes. De, pero desde el punto de vista de customer, ¿verdad? Yes. Mm -hmm. Rolando, I moved you here because you were alone. So, you have Sofía and María Leticia to share with. Okay, did you find the, the questions? Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Okay, I'll see you later. I'm gonna check on somebody else. ¿verdad? Entonces pienso que para bajarle los precios se puede decirle a uno ¿verdad? después de tantos viajes. Ajá. Eh, bueno, lo que busca en ese sentido con la misma palabra dice lealtad es de que el hecho de, de que sea leal con ellos, de que usted siempre elige a Bianca, ellos eso se lo compensan dándole puntos que cuando usted ya tiene un puntaje bastante alto, usted puede canjear eso, incluso por, se supone, vea, por un vuelo gratis. Sí, hay otras compañías que están Ajá. asociadas entre sí, ¿verdad? Ajá. Para, para brindar un, eh, ese servicio o un descuento adicional, ¿verdad? Un descuento, exactamente, sí, sí. Como exactamente. Aso aso asociación en branding, ¿verdad? Sí. Oh, asociación. Pero, asociación, sí, sí. Hay otro programa de lealtad también que, por ejemplo, tiene la de, la, 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 hay un club de los pintores, se le llama de Sherwin Williams de Freo, no sé si ya lo he escuchado. El club de los pintores. El club de los pintores, ajá. Entonces, ese club, el, el, lo que le genera es lo mismo, esos son programas de lealtad, ¿verdad? que ellos inventan, o sea que... Eh, al usted consumir la marca de ellos, le dan una tarjeta a usted como un cliente este, frecuente. Sí. Entonces, ellos le dan una tarjeta en la cual usted eh, recibe un gran descuento en la compra de la pintura, ¿verdad? Como un cliente frecuente, pero se entiende al cliente que compra este, cantidades este, seguido. ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces me funcionaba y como me funcionaba, compré ese y por comprar ese me dieron una muestra de un gel, que este gel vale 38 dólares, pero que solamente lo iba a usar una vez a la semana y resulta que la cosa es una maravilla. No me importaba estarlo pagando porque yo sabía de que al final me iba a durar y era lo que necesitaba, pero todo empezando así. Entonces es como una cadenita que lo va fidelizando a uno y es como, ya no, ya no se puede salir uno de ahí. <risa> ah, ya. Ay, ticha. Le estaba contando a, a Roberto cómo uno lo van fidelizando ahí como con los productos. Ajá. And what is the product that got you? Ah, got cuidado you de la the... piel. Ah. Cuidado la piel, teacher, de la, Rose, de la Roche Posey, que le digo yo que era lo que ustedes nos estaban dando en una clase, de mm. cómo a través de estas marcas 
a través de influencers, de actores, de actrices que hacen como pequeños videos donde muestran que hacen esos cuidados de la cara, entonces uno desesperado que no haya que hacer, va y compra el primero. Ahí en el primero le, le ofrecen el montón de cosas, ¿verdad? Y Ajá. le estaba diciendo de que, por ejemplo, un jabón de 400 mililitros de Faclar vale entre 48 a 50 dólares, pero si usted va, ajá, o sea, este, va y le dan como unas muestras médicas y le dicen, no, pero este le va a funcionar, y usted así como todo incrédulo porque un botecito de, de cero, de Faclar, 30 mililitros, 30 mililitros vale como 50 dólares y se escasea wow. horriblemente. De ahí hay uh, como un protector solar que también puede ser como, como base, uh -huh. que tiene 50 mililitros y vale entre 45 a 50 dólares. Entonces le van dando esas muestras y muestras. O sea, yo hasta tengo como uno de que es para anti imperfecciones, que es como un corrector que se lo pone justo en la imperfección. Uh -huh. Mire, este creo que es el más caro que he comprado porque tiene... Vale como 60 dólares y tiene solo 40. Uh -huh. <risa> no, o sea, te, tengo la línea completa con ellos y es como, ah, sí, pero mire, cada, una vez a la semana. <risa> y yo, <okay>, ¿qué? ¿Cómo? <risa> Roberto is scared. <risa> yes. <risa> es que en serio. Imagine, si imagine having to spend so much. <risa> Espérenme. I only no, me acordaba, buy no, me acordaba que, no me acordaba que les podía mostrar. Este es como un protector solar. Ah. Este es como, como una base. Ya no tengo, por cierto. Este uh -huh. es como una crema siempre para eso. Uh -huh. Este es el que les digo que es como para puntos, que es para imperfecciones. Ok. Este es como siempre de... <risa> Que se usa una vez a la semana. Que es como microexfoliante. Mm. Este es el serum que les digo. ¡Wow! Y este es el jabón. Y todo empezó por este jabón. Y luego empezaron como a dar pequeñas muestras. Y así, así iba hasta que compré casi todo en la misma línea. La línea completa. La línea, ajá, tengo así como la línea completa. Wow, wow. Ajá, y todo es de la misma marca. Wow. Y uno se va fidelizando porque sabe, o sea, de qué sirve que compre un producto que sea relativamente cómodo y no le va a funcionar. Yes, I mean, for skin, I would say yes. Uh, you need to re be really careful about the brand, about the, the ingredients, right? Because sometimes... Mm -hmm. It's like mm -hmm, you need to pay attention to what you put, especially on your face, right? Your face skin is really um por las manchas really también que se fragile. pueden hacer sí. Mm -hmm. Y más que siento que mi piel es muy And muy this muy... applies to ah. men too, Roberto. Not not only women. <laughs> no, teacher, because I only buy cream for my hair or oh, five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know how men work in that sense. <laughs> They don't like to 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 maybe you spend that money that much money in your car, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Me too. That's right. <laughs> in your car. Okay, well, um let's see. I'm going to give you one more minute and then uh, we go back to the main room, okay? I, I think you are almost done, so... Estas son como las muestras, miren. Yeah. Por cierto. Ah. <laughs> Por... Yeah. Okay, I'm going to check on, on just one more pair of classmates and then we go back to the main room, okay? Thank you, teacher. Sí, Así era como la tarea, ¿verdad? Nada más que yes. hay que hacerla en inglés. Of course, in English. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
Hello, hello. Just checking if we are done around here. No way. Yes, teacher. No. Uh, teacher, how do you say regalías in English? Royalties. Uh, no. Uh, let me see. Well, there is a word that is kind of informal. It's freebies. 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 Uh -huh. There is a there is a, a more a, a standard one, but let's see. I don't I don't remember right now. Let me check. Um, Mm -mm -mm. Let me see. Samples could be, yeah, sample is like the most a uh, standard sample. Ay, se nos fue eh, Andrés. Uy. <laughs> okay, we're going to go back to the main room. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, everyone, welcome back. Um, <laughs> okay, Andres, we are back to the main room. Um, well, I know you were. Some of you were really excited about sharing your royal loyalty. I was going to say royalty, <laughs> loyalty experiences as a consumer, right? And as usual, we have Lady who is very passionate about her brands and she was showing us <laughs> the products she has for, for skincare, right? Yes. <laughs> Roberto was scared about Yeah. <laughs> I was scared with the with the product of Lady. <laughs> Todo lo que se ahorra dice. <laughs> <laughs> But but she she told me about the product I asked for for her and she recommend me a uh, a new product and I think on vacation I I go I I go to Walmart for buy this product. <laughs> you're gonna go okay. You're gonna work extra time to buy this product that lady recommended. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, then Lady is a really good seller, right? Because yes. <laughs> she convinced you now. Okay. Well, uh, let's see. Just quickly, which just name, uh, let's name some loyalty programs. Well, uh, the question was, uh, which are the, the best? Which ones have you experienced that you consider are the best loyalty programs? Mm -hmm. Do you know any any that it, that is really good for you? No. Teacher, maybe a uh, product offers mm -hmm. and maybe medical samples, for example. Okay. Mm -hmm. But in this case, um, we can talk about some things like, for example, okay, I'm gonna give you my experience. 
I buy, I go to the supermarket, eh, to Walmart, because I, I got the card and every, well, they give me 7% dollar, how they call it? Easy dollars, something like that. Dollar de facil, se llama. Um, so every hundred dollars I I spend, I get seven dollars, right? And so usually when I go, I spend around a hundred and twenty-five or a hundred and fifty. And um so I, I accumulate those dollars. And so every time I go next time, let's say that I save <laughs> those dollars that that I get, that I, I have, right? So, well, it's been like this for, I don't know, maybe four years um, with this loyalty program they have. So, well, I think in this case for the supermarket, I like it because I, I mean, if I compare Walmart with Super Selectos, for example, a Super Selectos is much more expensive, I consider. And also because they offer a wide variety of products that, um, well, in terms of like other things, like for example, a washing machine, a stoves, a, what else, a blenders, etc. those things a, are not a, present in Super Selectos, for example. So there is a wider variety of products at Walmart. So, well, those are some of the reasons why a, they have worked my brain <laughs> to be loyal to Walmart. <laughs> so that is an example, right, of a loyalty program. Uh, <laughs> so uh, that kind of loyalty program is the one uh, I was asking in the question. So have you been part of a loyalty program that you think is really good for you? Which ones did you mention, Andres? Uh -huh. <coughs> In my case, teacher, I can share that. For example, I get a, a car in Pharmacia San Nicolas, mm -hmm. and I have a, in the drugstore, mm -hmm. and I have another car from Pharmacia Economicas. So uh -huh. I really like because I, I I bought a lot of medicine. Yeah, sometimes. So in in both case, if you buy something. You get well in the case I going to separate the the two drugstore. For example, mm -hmm. in the first one that is Pharmacia San Nicolas, mm -hmm. where in this in this case you don't have a, a lot of, uh, a big discount when if you buy a medicine, but you can earn points for le later. You can share in the different drugstores. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have? In shame for medicine or for a, a little discounts, but in the other case that is pharmacias economicas, mm -hmm. uh, in this case you have a big discount from the medicine. You don't earn more, you don't earn points, but you don't, you don't, you have a big discount. discount. If you mm -hmm. want yeah discount if you want to buy some medicine. So I have both experience and I think that is good because mm -hmm. in this in both case you can. Save money. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Especially with these products, right? That you, as you say, well, medicine, of course, you got to buy it. Uh, it's not an option, right? When you are sick, you, you need to have medicine. Uh, so, mm -hmm. good. Yes, yeah. I was also thinking about all, another example of loyalty programs. For example, the Banco Agricola uh, credit cards. They give well, all of them. I think they give you points. Um, and in this case, with credit cards, if you don't want to get in debt, you need to pay what you what you um, spend, right? So if you pay exactly what you spent, of course, you're not gonna have debt and you get um, extra points, right? That later you can you can um, exchange for a product. 
Okay, well, um, so this, were, this was a little discussion and now we're going to have some uh, reading practice. Okay, so I'm going to go back to our manual and um, okay, here we have a, a short reading about uh, this brand that probably you, you know it, well, especially uh, women, right? This is a, a very famous brand for cosmetics, MAC Cosmetics. Um, uh, well, lady was talking about the La Roche Posay, oops, which is uh, skincare, and this one is makeup, okay, MAC. So it's a, a, a pretty famous one too, in terms of, you know, beauty products. So, um, well, let's take turns reading this, um, this little article together. And I'm going to ask you to help me read aloud. So let's see, um, let's just start with Gabriela. Gabriela, can you please help me with the first three lines up to here? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mark Cosmetics, a brand by Steve Lauder, has a loyalty program for online shoppers and features three, three tiers. Mm -hmm. The first tier is called Seduced. To join this tier, you don't need to make a purchase. Mm -hmm. uh, you just need to sign up in the web page. Perks in this day include early access to limited edition edition products. Okay, great. Uh, let's uh, practice some some pronunciation here. Let's just start with what this is a uh, tears, right? Tears. Uh, let's see, another one is mm -hmm. sign up, sign, sign up, mm -hmm. mm, I think that's it. Okay, now um, I'm going to just focus on vocabulary in this, in this part. Uh, let's see, okay, first let's look at the word tears, tears. What is a synonym of tears? I don't know if anybody is familiar with this word. If not, I can share the meaning. No? Okay. The synonym is level, okay? So in other words, we are, we are saying that MAC Cosmetics uh, has three levels, three levels of shoppers, right? The, fir the first level is called seduced. And you, you need a, a, you need to a, um, fulfill a requirement, right? Um, and the first one is sign up on the web page. Now let's look at this other word, perks. Oops, sorry. So, okay, perks. What is a synonym of perk? Anybody? Advantage. Advantage, very Vantage. good, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, let me, okay. Advantage or benefit, right? Benefit, that's as another synonym. Mm -hmm. Uh, so an advantage in this tier include early access to limited edition products. Okay, very good. Let's now continue with, okay, let's continue with the, here, with the second part. Okay, and this time I'm going to ask 
Sofia, can you please? Are you there, Sofia? Mm. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Tier two is called Devoted. You get access to this tier by a spend 150 or more in a year. There is also early access to select collection, completely express makeup application and more. Tier three is named offsets mm -hmm. for customer who spend more than 500 per year on product. Okay, very good. Uh, okay, let's practice this word, devoted. 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 Mm -hmm. devoted. Yes. And complimentary. 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 Excellent. Okay, and now let's focus on vocabulary. Um, okay, well, specifically this word, complimentary. Well, here we're talking about complimentary express makeup application. Okay, so what would be a synonym of complimentary? Let's write it here. A free. Okay. Free express makeup application. Okay, so this also uh, happens with Mary Kay, for example. I don't know if the ladies here in the in the room <laughs> have ever experienced this kind of um, benefit, let's say, or if you have had this experience. Uh, there are some, in this case, Mary Kay, for example, they invite you to a makeup party, for example, or they tell you, we will give you a free facial uh, or free makeup session, right? So this is complimentary, complimentary. It's a synonym of free. Okay, let's move on to our next part. Let's see. Okay, in this case, I'm going to ask Gilberto to help me read this, these lines, please. Okay, teacher, nice. Member of the year get to be the first to shop, shopping certain collection and also get complementary service. Maki is customer engaged and the tier key customer motivates and move the company to get more exclusive content. Okay, great. So as you can see in this first part of the of the the reading, right? We have learned about how Mac Cosmetics it keeps their customers right uh, motivated to be yes to become part of this exclusive right exclusive club let's say club of a uh, consumers who get different types of benefit benefits sorry according to the how much money of course how much money they spend right you have the seduced, which you just sign up on the web page. You have the the ups, devoted. You need to spend one hundred and fifty dollars a year, and the last one is obsessed. You need to spend more than five hundred dollars a year on products. Okay, well, let's now check um the second part. In this case. Uh, we are talking or we are reading about Amazon Prime. Okay, but I would like to know from the ladies who has used MAC Cosmetics. Let's see. 
Have you ever used MAC Cosmetics? Raise your hand. Okay, I see one hand. Let me see whose hand is it. Ah, the teacher. <laughs> Only the teacher. Okay. Only the teacher. <laughs> Only the teacher. Actually, actually, I'm not a, I'm not a um a fan, but. Yeah, I have used some some products, but I'm not a, a, a big fan of MAC Cosmetics. Um, okay, well, let's see. Uh, Roberto, let's read this first part for Amazon Prime. Okay, I'm going to stop you here. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Amazon Prime for 99 dollar a year amazon prime offer not only free shipping but also other benefits such as live streaming music movies in tv show storage for digital photos and more benefit of this loyalty program can exceed the annual fee fee for those who take full advantage or the membership. Okay, very good. So this is another product, right? Amazon Prime. Amazon um, Prime. Yes. Um, let's see. Okay, Roberto, let's practice this word. Live. 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 Mm -hmm. Live um, streaming. Yes, live streaming music. Um. In this case, I I I think I rem I told you about this a few weeks ago. Uh, this word live is a little tricky because we have the verb right live live when we use it as a verb, and in this case is is used as an as an adjective, uh, meaning that it is um like for example when you do Facebook Live right, so okay. it is an adjective. Mm -hmm. So you have live as a verb and as an adjective, live. Live. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, great. Let's see if there is some vocabulary here that we can check. Mm, I guess everybody knows the word shipping, right? Shipping. Yes. Exportation. Uh-huh. Yeah, the... the uh, when you send the product or that you get the product through shipping. Um, okay, good. Let's see now. Okay, we're going to have one more person for the rest of the reading. And this time we're going to have uh, Rolando. Are you there? Hello. 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 Yes, we can hear you. Okay. In in restaurants, remember get uh, us uh, of benefits raining from the free next days. Delivery and return to access to the cleaning. Kindle. Kindle, okay. Kindle. Uh, late in the library to on the limited streamings of the videos and music for many price remembers the inventors. What is initial initial uh, initial initial interest is in the price if qualic despite spite sp spice be the promotion of the free next day's delivery if you purchase 
something from Amazon every month, then price will say month people money over the cur course of the years. I'm sorry, I was... Give me one second here. Oh. Okay, sorry, I was speaking and my, my microphone was off. Um, so I said, we're going to practice some pronunciation. Uh, first of all, we're going to practice with ranging. Ranging, okay. Mm -hmm. Give me. Ranging. Yes. Okay, ranging, then a, okay, Kindle. Kindle. Yes, I don't know if, uh, just checking the vocabulary, uh, Kindle is a, um, is a brand from Amazon and it's a, it's a device for reading. It's like a little a tablet, but it is specifically for reading, uh, which means that your eyes are not going to be hurt if you are reading, right? So um, let's see what else. Um, streaming? Streaming? Streaming. Mm -hmm. Streaming. Mm -hmm. Fight? Fight. Fight. Mm -hmm. Fight. Okay, fight. And now, um, let's see. Mm, okay, I think that's it for, for pronunciation. Uh, now, in this case, the, the meaning of fight is, um, well, it could be like in terms of when you are when you're interested right in this case it says for many prime members the initial interest is sorry the initial interest in prime is picked by the promise of free next day delivery so basically it's a stimulated right uh if you tell me that i will buy a product today and i will get it tomorrow for free so that is something that motivates me to get the prime membership, right? Uh, I don't know if you, let's see, who has had this Amazon Prime membership? Do you buy from Amazon? Someone? No one? Only the teacher. <laughs> Only the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you live in El Salvador, eh, well, actually these days many people buy many people buy through Amazon and they send it to a to an address in the US, right? And they and then they bring it through a, a how they call it encomendista. I don't remember how how what's the name of that in English, but that's how they do it. it still it, it you need to pay, right? So it's not that big of a benefit. But of course, if you live in the US, for example, um yes, it is a it is a good benefit. Uh, and you have access to all these uh, perks or benefits, right? Like live streaming music. I don't know if some of you, for example, watch a series in Amazon. Mm. What's the name? I don't remember. Tiene otro nombre, ¿verdad? El, el, el de las series. En Amazon. I don't remember right now. But, um, or the music, or the books. There is a, a, a an app that is from Amazon, audiobooks, which is called Audible. Uh, so, yeah, I had it for some time. For these benefits and but then I didn't like paying too much <laughs> and I didn't I quit but yeah
Okay, now, what are we doing with this reading? Okay, eh, well, some of these ideas we have already discussed, but let's see. Um, how can you tell if a loyalty program is effective or not? And we have these characteristics here that define a good or bad loyalty program. Okay, and then we can evaluate the products that we have or the programs that we just read about from MAC Cosmetics and from Amazon, right? Just uh, once we have these characteristics uh, clear. Okay, what are the characteristics? Number one, consumers are confused and, and are angered by complex loyalty programs. Okay, so if you tell me that I will, uh, if I do this, I will get this, and then I need to do something else to get something more. Okay, so that's complex. I need something very clear, very to the point, etc. Okay. Now, number two, consumers are annoyed when their points or rewards expire. Mm -hmm. This is true, right? Um, because you you are not checking every day how many points you have. So imagine if you don't check for a year and they expire. Well, it doesn't make sense, right? Number three, consumers prefer to be rewarded for things they do on a daily basis, such as grocery shopping. That is my case. I told you that I buy at Walmart because it's something I do every two weeks. Every two weeks, I go to the supermarket, right? I need to eat. I need to clean my house. So those are things I need. Um, let's see, rather than occasional activities such as travel, right? Uh, I think uh, uh, Gilberto was talking, Gilberto and um, who were you talking to, Gilberto? I don't remember. ¿Con quién está hablando usted? ¿Con Gabriela? No. No, eh, con Mr. Mauricio Bruca. Ah, okay, with Mauricio. Uh -huh. I heard you talking about Avianca, right? Uh, they have this also loyalty program, but traveling is not something we do every day, right? So you're going to travel a lot. If you travel a lot, then it is beneficial, but if not, right? Okay, so now what are we doing with this information? We are uh, evaluating these two loyalty programs, MAC Cosmetics and Amazon Prime. So what do you think about MAC Cosmetics? They have this uh, program where they, people need to, you know, spend a certain amount of money to go up, let's say, into the tiers. So do you think it's a complex program? Is it complex? Or is it easy to understand? It's easy. It's easy, okay. Mm -hmm. It's clear, right, that I need to spend 150, then 500, and so on, okay. So in that case, it's good, let's say. What about Amazon Prime? I think Amazon Prime in offer good benefits, but I know I agree with this company because I spend ninety nine dollar a year. It's not good for me. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. Very good. Um. Well, if you are uh, if you are uh, as I said before, right, we live in El Salvador. Probably for us, it's not that convenient because we still need to pay for delivery for the people. You can send it to an address in the US and it's free when you do it that way. But then for, for you to have it here in El Salvador, you have to pay someone else. 
So maybe it's not that beneficial, right? So if you live in the US and you like watching series, movies, um, or listening to books or live streaming music, then yes, I guess it's, it will be beneficial. Okay, let's see the next. Uh, do they mention that the, the, the points expire? Is there something related to expiration date for the points or the rewards? Okay, I guess no, right? We are not seeing that kind of information in the text. So um, in that case, it would be good, let's say in that sense that none of these programs have something that says the points or rewards expire. Okay, and the last one, consumers prefer to be rewarded for things they do on a daily basis. Now, are Mac cos okay, are cosmetics or makeup something you do every day? For women? Aha, ladies. Lady, lady. <laughs> lady and ladies in general. <laughs> well, some women don't like makeup, right? But many of them do. So probably makeup is a necessity for many women. Right? For me, sometimes. Not not every day. Mm. Solo cosas básicas como cero, protector solar. No, but that is a skincare. Uh -huh. skincare. Makeup is, is different. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In this case, it would be more like um, foundation, lipstick, eyeshadow, a mascara. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <clears throat> Sometimes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, well, it depends, right? This is about personal preference. What about Amazon Prime? Is this something that people do every day? Well, as we know, in Amazon, you can buy almost everything, right? So probably even some people buy food through Amazon. Groceries, they do grocery shopping through Amazon. So I would say probably this, this membership will be more like for an everyday situation, right? People buy things that they like and things that they need as well. Okay, well, so in general, how would we uh, evaluate these two, two uh, loyalty programs? Are they effective? Okay, I'm gonna do this. Mac Cosmetics, can you raise your hand and tell uh, if you think that it is an effective loyalty program? This is about exclusivity, right? The more you buy, the more exclusive member you are. Okay, so Mac is effective. Thank you. Okay, very good. Thank you, Gilberto and Roberto. Okay, now let's, let's talk about Amazon Prime. Raise your hand if Amazon Prime, you think is effective. Well, actually Roberto told me no. <laughs> so I think you you don't agree. But what about I, the rest? No, I agree. You don't agree, okay. Do you think it's, it's an effective loyalty program? Yeah. 
<laughs> well, let me see who is raising their hand. Andres, okay. Okay. Do you, have you ever used Amazon, Andres, um, or Amazon Prime? No, teacher, but I really want to get an like, account of Amazon Prime because I see that, that uh, they have more variety of different mm -hmm. kinds of movie. Right now I pay uh, Netflix, but I, the Netflix, <laughs> I, I don't have a good experience and they don't have a, a variety of movies. No, mm -hmm. the, almost the same movies. So yeah. I see in some commercials that Amazon Prime have a lot of kind of movies and series. Mm -hmm. So it's possible that the next year I'm going to change. <laughs> okay, okay. So we have a new client for Amazon Prime. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Good. Okay, well, um, so this is it about the, the, the activity here. And well, remember the objective in this lesson was to, um, sorry, identify characteristics of effective loyalty programs, okay? And uh, we did the reading and these are the characteristics, right? Um, so you can use them now to evaluate other loyalty programs that probably you have experienced or that you are experiencing uh, right now, right? With the brands that you consume. So uh, here you have the self-assessment. Now I can identify characteristics of effective loyalty programs independently with occasional help or only with help. Okay, um, well, just as a conclusion in the case of a, a brand loyalty, right? Something I liked about the video we watched at the beginning is that, a, well, first of all, th there is science behind a, all these marketing decisions, right? And a, they play with our main, a, what we say, thinking organ, which is our brain. And so in this case, as they were saying, brands are not going away, right? For example, Roberto said, I don't agree with this or that. And it's true, right? We, we as consumers need to be really, really aware of what will benefit us, right? what will be um, also our, our advantage uh, in order to spend our money, our money wisely, right? Uh, because for example, especially these days, uh, people uh, become crazy <laughs> about buying many things. And uh, so it is a matter of being financially educated, just not to end up you know, being in debt for for the next year, right? So it's 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 a really a good topic, not just in general about um practicing English, but also about like learning how to spend our money. Okay, well, uh, just to to finish up, I have a just a few review questions that I wanted to share with you quickly. Okay. Okay, I'm going to be choosing some of you to help me answer one question, okay? So right now, Okay, I'm going to start with Mr. Mauricio. Okay, get ready, please. I'm going to spin the spin the wheel. Oh, but I'm not sharing the screen. Okay, here we are. I'm going to spin the wheel and you get to answer one question, okay? 
questions are related to everything we studied this module. So here we go. <laughs> this is a good question, Mr. Mauricio. What would you rather be doing right now? <laughs> be honest. Be honest. <laughs> right now, right now, I just want to go to sleep, teacher. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Very good. Very good answer. Okay. okay Thank you. I know everybody, I know everybody is tired at this point. Okay, let me see. Thank you, Mauricio. And uh, the next one will be for. I don't know if Leticia, Leticia, are you there? Let's see. Let's just spin the wheel. Okay, this is the question for Leticia. Do you think you've uh, you practiced enough English this module? No, teacher. <laughs> Not really. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> okay. <Me faltó. laughs> okay. One more question, and then we. Uh, I'm gonna check attendance for you to leave. Okay. Uh, this question is for chan, 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 chan. Let me see. Gabriela. Okay. Okay. You're what is something you're you're planning to get your family to do this coming year? Are you there, Gabriela? Get the color of the of the of the, of the room. Change the color of the room. Yeah. Ah, okay. Very good, Israel. <laughs> what color are you going to paint your house? Mm, white. Okay. But you got to convince your family. Mm, I hope so. <laughs> okay, great. Well, because of time, I'm not going to... We, we have two more, but I'm just going to leave it there. Um. Okay, and let me... Oops. Okay, call your names out for the last time ever. <laughs> the last time ever. Okay, let's see. Danny Anthony, Siwen Saventura. I saw you, Danny, at some point, but I'm, you're not here right now. Okay, Gilberto Benito Santa Maria Rios. Present teacher. Jose Andres Martinez Perez. Present teacher, thanks for everything, teacher. You're welcome. Jose Israel Martinez Rodriguez. Present teacher. Julio Aristides Paz. He's a listener. Lady Joana Hernandez Ventura. Present teacher. Eh, Luis Rodrigo Morales, not here today. María Leticia Realejeño. Present teacher. Mauricio de Jesús Buruca Velázquez. Yes, present teacher. Rebeca María Cardona. She's here as a listener. Roberto Carlos Gámez Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Rolando Danilo Sánchez Arteaga. Present teacher. Thank you. Sofía Karina Crespo. Present teacher. And Yesenia Gabriela Aguilar Granadino. Okay, I see you there, Gabriela. Well, everybody, thank you so, so much. I have learned a lot from you, and I hope that you learned something from me in this module. 
Um, well, uh, my best wishes for these upcoming holidays and of course for the next year. Congratulations on all your effort. I know it is not easy. This this schedule is was not easy for anybody, even for me. <laughs> uh, but yes. here we are. Done. Right? So thank you. It was <laughs> thank you, teacher. Thank, thank you for your help, teacher. teacher. Bye thank bye, you, everyone. Teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye. Happy holidays. Take care. Bye, classmates. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Mommy, I'm Mommy.